Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make an interactive cryptocurrency tracker in Google Sheets. This is a simple tracker, but it's very effective. So when I say it's interactive, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what that means. This little white box here, these are the only things you're ever gonna to have to put into the portfolio, portfolio manually once you're finished and everything will adjust accordingly. So let's show an example. Let's say I buy Dogecoin and I buy 4,000 shares at a price of 51 cents a coin. So when I hit enter, okay, so you can see it pulled the current price, our cost, market value, our dollar gain, and our growth, and our charts adjusted accordingly. So this is gonna be a really useful tutorial. I hope it'll help you guys out a lot. The only formula that's really complicated in this tutorial is gonna be the current price. Pulling the current price is difficult in Google Sheets. Um, you can see this formula is really long and kind of complicated here. I'm gonna have this formula posted below in the description, so if you struggle with it, you can copy and paste it there. If you wanna download this crypto tracker or my stock portfolio tracker, you can head to my Patreon and there's gonna be a link in the description. So with that being said, let's go ahead and dive into the tutorial. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna to do to start my spreadsheet is I'm gonna come up here to the top left and I'm gonna title it Dividendology Crypto Tracker and so when you pull up Google Sheets, this is what you're gonna see it under. So title this whatever you wanna save it as. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down here and highlight these cells right here and merge them together. And I'm gonna use my first formula right here. So I'm gonna use the equals now open parentheses formula. And this is gonna give us the date and the time, both really important things whenever you're looking at any kind of tracker whatsoever. I'm gonna come back here and highlight this and give it outer borders now, just to kind of make it look nicer. We're gonna do this for most of the things we make here. So I'm gonna highlight these cells right here now, merge them together, give it an outer border as well. And all I'm gonna do right here is title my cryptocurrency tracker. So title this whatever you want it. I'm gonna go ahead and make it the title of my YouTube channel. So I'm gonna make it Dividendology Crypto Tracker as well. I'm gonna come back right here. I'm gonna make it a larger font size. Let's do this right here. And I'm gonna come right here and center the text. Okay, so now we're gonna to get to more of the fun stuff. We're gonna come below this and we're gonna we're gonna to wanna to put all the different metrics right here. So I'm gonna want the coin. I'm gonna to wanna to know the amount bought. I'm also gonna to wanna to know my purchase price. I need to know my current price. I need to know what my cost was. I need to know the market value. And I wanna see my dollar gain and I wanna see my growth as well. So now I'm gonna go ahead and highlight these and I'm gonna give it outer borders and I'm gonna bold this as well. So now I'm just gonna make sure the spacing's right. I'm gonna pull this column over just a little bit to make sure it's all showing up. And okay, so now we're gonna wanna start filling things in right here. So I'm gonna list the coins I bought right here. So let's start, I bought, for example, I bought, let's say I bought Dogecoin, let's say I bought Bitcoin, and I'm gonna go ahead and list a few more cryptocurrencies down here as well. Now I'm gonna to wanna to put the amount that I bought. So let's say I bought 4,000 Dogecoin. We'll say, we'll just pick some random numbers for these other cryptocurrencies. And now I need to go ahead and put in the purchase price. So this is just the price, whenever I bought my cryptocurrency, this is just the price that I bought in at. And okay, so now what I'm gonna to wanna to do is I'm gonna to wanna to highlight all these cells as well and go to outer borders again and click on that. And that's just gonna make it look nice and clean and keep things separate. So now we're gonna to wanna to do our current price. So for current price, this is gonna be the most complicated formula. I'm gonna have this formula posted in the description. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to coinmarketcap.com and we're gonna to wanna to pull the prices from this website. So you can see it has all the current prices 
listed here for these cryptocurrencies. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this formula in. And when I put it in, you can see right here, it's a really long formula, it's complicated. So what it's doing is it's basically pulling from certain tables on that website and pulling the current price from it. And so now I'm just gonna drag this down and it's gonna pull the current price from all these websites. If I'm moving too fast, just pause and rewind the video. And don't forget that the formula for that is in the description. So now I'm just gonna do the cost. That's an easy formula, you can see what I did there. For market value, it's just gonna be the current price times the amount bought. And I'm gonna hit enter and drag that down. For our dollar gain, that's just gonna be our market value times our, excuse me, market value minus our cost. And then for our growth, that's going to be the market value minus the cost divided by the cost. And be sure to use parentheses right there. So I hit enter. Let's go ahead and make this a percentage so we have a better view of what our growth was. And now I'm gonna, to finish this part off, I'm gonna highlight these cells and give it an outer border as well. Okay, so it's starting to come along pretty nicely. We're gonna go ahead and do a few more things. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna highlight dollar gain and go to format, click on conditional formatting. So I wanna be able to see if I've had positive or negative returns. So I'm gonna do greater than zero, add another rule. And I'm gonna come down here and click on less than zero and make this red. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna say anything greater than zero, it's gonna highlight green. Anything less than zero, it's gonna highlight red. So I'm gonna do the same thing for my growth right here. I'm gonna say anything greater than zero, we want to show up as green. I'm gonna click add another rule. Anything less than zero, I want to show up as red. So this is a really useful tool. It's just gonna make it pop out really quick at us so we can see at a snapshot how our growth is doing. So the next thing we're gonna to wanna to focus on is we're gonna to wanna to make our charts. So I'm gonna highlight the coins I've bought and then the market value. And we're gonna to wanna to make a pie chart so we can see how our market value is divided. So when I click on create chart, it comes up as a bar chart. We can switch that right here. Really easy chart to make. So I'm just gonna kind of resize this, make it fit in a little bit better with my spreadsheet. And you can see I'm pretty well diversified with these cryptocurrencies. So the next chart we're gonna wanna make is actually gonna be a combo chart. I'm gonna wanna see my dollar gain and my growth within the same chart. So I'm gonna come up here after I highlight these, see if I can do it right. And I'm gonna go to insert and I'm gonna click on chart. So you can see this came back not the way we want it. So I'm gonna click on combo chart right here. Click on customize and go to series. We're gonna click on growth and we're gonna to wanna to add a right axis for our growth. And okay, so now you can see that this has started to come along. So rewind the video right there if you need to see what I did right there. You can see I have my growth showing up on the right axis and my dollar gain showing up on the left axis. So this is really useful as well to see a snapshot how our gains are doing, how much our cryptocurrencies have grown percentage wise. So this is starting to come together pretty nicely. We only have a few more steps left. I'm gonna go ahead and resize some of this to make it look a little bit nicer. So the final, one of the final things we're gonna do is I'm gonna highlight everything in this box right here and we're gonna to wanna to create a filter. So what this is gonna allow us to do is we can sort now by any of the metrics we wanna sort by. So if I wanna sort by market value, I can do that here from greatest to least. And you can see how the charts change. If I wanna do dollar gain, I can do that as well. All the coins change, the charts change. I can do it by least to greatest with my growth if I want to. So that's just a really useful tool. So you can sort things how you wanna see it. It's just gonna help us out a lot. So the last thing we're gonna to wanna to do is I'm gonna to wanna to color in the rest of my spreadsheet. So this is kinda of up to you how I wanna do it. I'm just gonna show you how I do it. You just click up here. Um, for charts, you double click and go to chart style. And you can choose how you wanna color in your chart right here. Um, usually the lighter colors look best with charts. So I'm gonna do light red right here. Okay, so as you guys can see, I've gone ahead, I've resized everything, and I've colored everything in. So it's starting to look 
finished. So what we can do is if we wanted to add a new cryptocurrency, all we would have to do is go here and insert a new row. And you see now we have space to add any cryptocurrency that we've bought. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this. And so don't forget, this is a completely interactive spreadsheet. So let's say I wanted to change the amount bought and I wanted to change the purchase price. I could do that here. And you can see everything is gonna fill in by itself. I could change the cryptocurrency as well if I wanted to do that. We have our filters in so we can sort however we want to. So I really hope this tutorial helped you guys out a lot. If you wanna have access to this spreadsheet and wanna be able to download it, or if you want access to my stock portfolio tracker in Google Sheets, you can head to my Patreon page. The link is in the description. You can go there and download each of these. So thank you guys for watching the video. It'd really mean a lot to me if you would go ahead and like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you next time.